Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. This video is titled Grandma Exposes School Board and the Crowd is Appalled with What She Uncovered. Now I'm going to warn you, what we hear this grandma read from this book is very, very explicit. But I think there's a loud group of people claiming that, you know, this stuff isn't happening or it's not that bad or it needs to be normalized. But when you hear what's in this book, trust me, you should be just as appalled as this crowd was. And if you may have thought that it wasn't that bad, you'll know that it's bad after you hear this. All right. So we're about to get into this. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe while we're watching. Now, let's roll it. This is good. The books with explicit sexual activities including incest, child rape, molestation, pornographic, controversial social, political, religious, ra racial, and suicidal commentary, hate, drugs and alcohol abuse, sexual nudity including photos, alternate gender ideology, obscene sexual activities plague Chippewa Valley's schools, elementary, middle, and high school libraries. To date, there are over 90 books, and the list keeps growing daily. I've overheard a few of you sitting up there say the kids can get the stuff on their phones or TV, so what does it matter? But I ask you, does that make it right? Schools should be held at a higher standard. A very small example of the book identical by Ellen Hopkins reads, Daddy lifted her, his seven-year-old daughter, gently and sat her down on the bed beside him. He opened up the snaps of his pajamas. It stood up stiff as stalagmite. How much, Daddy, how much does Daddy love you? Show me you love me, too. Touch it. He closed his hands around it. That's right. That's right. His voice rocked in rhythm with his body. I don't know what it meant, only that it made Daddy happy, and I wanted to make him happy. When Daddy finished, he brought his face to Kaylee's hair and wept. Kaylee was confused at his tears and sticky stuff icing her hands. Didn't I... Okay, yeah. I, like I said, you guys, very, very graphic. Now, look, every adult knows what's going on. You know, every adult in this room, every adult watching this video, or, you know, even, even teenagers, you know, kids, because of the internet, they do have access to things that they shouldn't have, and, you know, a lot of them grow up too fast, or see things that they shouldn't see too fast. I definitely wouldn't say grow up, but that's almost irrelevant. This book is even inappropriate for high schoolers. It's inappropriate for a school to have inside of a library is really the point. What academic merit does it provide? How does this benefit kids to read a book like this? As, you, as impressionable as kids are, as immature as kids are, you wanna put this book in their school library? This almost sounds like it's taken out of a bad dream or some nightmare, but this is reality, you guys. Time to wake up. Let's continue. I love you good enough, Daddy. Daddy come back many times for lollipop licking. Oh, little girl, do you know how beautiful you are? No one is as lovely as you, not even your mother. I can't believe you're mine. Kaylee roused at his words, secure in his aurora of Daddy's love. She tried to sit up, but Daddy pushed her gently back down against the mattress. Just stay like that for daddy. I want to teach you something new. He lifted her nightgown, rolled it over her belly, coaxed her thoroughbred legs apart. She squirmed a poultry protest. Don't move. This won't hurt. You'll like it. I promise. He kissed the length of her torso down to the small naked V. Daddy taught her something new, something awful, worse, something wonderful something every little girl should know the joy of, though she shouldn't learn it from her daddy. Kaylee was used to daddy's visits, but that night was something different. There was nothing gentle about as he threw her back on the bed. Already naked, he pushed Kaylee roughly to one side. His evil hard and sharp blade ready to slice into her. It did. His, brutal, his attack was brutal, bloody, wordless except for vicious, shut the fuck up her pitiful scream. Please no, Daddy. When Daddy was done, she cried. This book is currently available at Chippewa Valley Ninth Grade Center, oh my Chippewa, God. Valley God. Chippewa Valley Ninth Grade oh, Center, Dakota Ninth Grade Center, Dakota High School, and Chippewa Valley High School. So please tell me, what educational value does this bring? Tear the top off and keep that if a kid happens to find something like this, they happen to find it, but you should not be going to check out books like this at your school's library. Man, times have really changed. Times have changed a lot.
I think it's too many people in the world nowadays that have decided that they don't care. Society's messed up and it's nothing that they're going to do about it. It's just going to get worse and, you know, they won't speak up or say anything about it. And because most people have given up on the fight and don't really seem to want to be vocal or want to speak out against things like this, they don't even see that things like this are slowly happening and slowly creeping in. This book might be available for ninth graders, but there are also disturbing books that I've seen on videos like this available for kids at elementary schools. There's also, you know, um, shows that you'll watch on, on you know, children's um programming children's entertainment where they're teaching you about gay bcs and transgenderism and things of that nature exposing kids to things that they should not be exposing to and in this case providing books putting books in a school that are just disgusting and have no educational value at all the fact that people on this school board have said that oh they could find this on the internet so who cares if they find it in the school library that's the problem right there you got parents leaving their kids in the hands of People that don't give a crap about them. You got kids that can name every TikTok dance and name every 100 genders that there is, but they don't know anything about math, reading, or writing. Their grades are bad. They're supposed to be preparing the next generation of adults to be responsible, competent, to have discipline. Unfortunately, those things are not happening. But let's wrap this video up. Where's the cover? All right, guys, so that's it for the video. Like I said, very cringe, but you got to watch these things to be aware of it because if it's not happening already near you, it could be someday. And parents or people who wish to be parents, I don't know, if they watch videos like this, I just hope that they pay attention and interact and figure out exactly what's going on at their kids' schools because nowadays you never know what your kid is learning or being exposed to. It's not the teachers, the school board, or even the guidance counselor, principals. It's none of their jobs to affirm and try to be a therapist for these kids. The school staff and the parents have to work together to communicate, to come up with the best solutions and provide the most accurate information about what's going on with the children. You both have to work together because they're in the school for eight hours and then they're at home with their parents for the rest. That's how it worked when I was a kid. The teachers would communicate with parents. Teachers would encourage parents and encourage students to tell their parents to come to parent to school night and things like that. They wanted to be that bridge and communicate. But now you got too much stuff going on in the dark behind parents' backs. I hope this video was informal despite how hard it was to listen to. But that's it for the video, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe when you're at the door. Let me know what you thought about this in the comments down below. Until next time, I'm out of here. Peace.